Hi, my name is Marisa. Welcome to my channel. Charlotte Tilbury just released two new quads, one brand new named the Queen of Glow, which is a mixture of golds and bronzes, and the other one is a reimagination of a quad that already existed in her collection named the Rebel. So the new version is a mixture of gold and khaki greens and in this video I'm going to talk with you a little bit about it, swatch it, do some comparison swatches with Natasha Denona Mini Gold and Metropolis palettes. I'm going to show you how I achieved this look and at the end I'm going to tell you what I think about it. So if you are interested in this content just keep on watching. This eyeshadow quad comes in the beautiful Charlotte Tilbury packaging. It's produced in Italy. The eyeshadows have a total weight of 5 grams and its suggested shelf life is of 18 months. I'm going to show you now swatches of the eyeshadows. As I hope you can see by the photo of the swatches, this pop color is different from the usual celestial formula that Charlotte Tilbury places in her eyeshadow quads. In the next photo, I've placed a swatch of this celestial pop color. This one is the Pillow Talk quad. Next to the swatches of this quad and you will see the difference. This pop eyeshadow is more pigmented. To me it looks like a mixture of the gold eyeshadow with this smoke shade just like gold uh, shimmer and sparkle on top of a warm base almost like a mixture of brown with the minuscule orange in it. It's beautiful, it's different. Personally, I would love to see just the green and gold shimmer sparkle to put on the eyelids. I do like the Celestials. I think they make part of what makes the Charlotte Tilbury quads different from other ones that are on the market. This smoke shade is also different. I like it very much. It's a brown eyeshadow that has infused in it some particles of shimmer, gold shimmer and a little bit of gold uh, glitter, very small gold glitter in it. When you put it on the eyelid, it almost disappears, just remains like the minuscule amount of gold shimmer, which makes it very beautiful indeed. Let's compare now this quad with the mini gold. I've taken swatches um, of both palettes and I made a photo of it for you to see the difference between the shades. As I'm sure you could see in the photo, the brown from Natasha Denona is a much cooler one and it doesn't have those uh, particles of shimmer like infused as the, the quad from Charlotte Tilbury has. Regarding the greens, they are very different as well. The green from Natasha Denona is a duochrome that shifts between a brown and a grassy green while the green from Charlotte Tilbury is greener, has less brown in it and is a straight up shimmer of green with a gold reflex. Regarding the gold shades, they are very different as well. The gold from Charlotte Tilbury is more like an antique gold, while the, the gold from Natasha Denona 
is much brighter and punchy. Regarding the Metropolis palette, the shades that are closer are this metallic here, which is called Shield. I'm going to swatch that one against the Charlotte Tilbury Green. And I hope you can see that the Charlotte Tilbury it's less warm than the Natasha Denona. Natasha Denona has more yellow and uh, orange in it. And that's it in terms of comparisons that I can think of on the palettes that I have. So I'm going to show you now how I got this look. I'm going to show you now how I got this makeup look. Charlotte Tilbury has on her website a video where she makes a tutorial and shows the look that we can get by uh, applying the shades with the typical sequence Prime, Enhance, Smoke and Pop. So I thought it would be more fun if I showed you a different way of applying the eyeshadows. To start the eye look, I'm going to place a little bit of concealer on my eyelid just to make an even canvas and blot out the redness. I'm going to place this um, green eyeshadow all over my eyelid. Now I'm going to use a more condensed fluffy brush and I'm going to use the smoke shade in the outside corner this brown with the little sparkles of gold it's really pretty and bringing it a little bit here to the brown bone I'm going to use my Barbarella brown close to the eyelash eyelashes sorry a little bit below as well and I'm going to use the, the brown the smoke shade to buff the eyeliner and make it more soft and now I'm going to apply the pop shade with my small finger here in the middle it's very pretty like this with the pop shade it's making the reminder of the eyeshadows to look a little bit more green and now I'm going to use a pencil brush and I'm going to use the prime shade this very bright gold here on the inside corner like this I'm going to use the fluffy brush again I'm, going, I'm cleaning it to make sure I don't have any green and I'm going just to bluff to bluff to buff the borders to make sure it's as soft as possible okay I'm going to curl my eyelashes put mascara and do the reminder of the face and I'll be right back to show you the final look so this is the final look I used Victoria Beckham bronze eyeliner Kajal liner sorry just because the color is perfect for this eyeshadow on the face I have the hourglass ghost palette I use the bronze and the blush this one here and I use the diffused light as perfecting powder on the lips I have Charlotte Tilbury iconic nude and the lipstick I think this palette is beautiful the eyeshadows are very pigmented especially these two shimmer ones they blend beautifully for me and if you already saw one of my videos you'll probably already know that 
I'm attracted like a moth to a flame to shades to blue and greens with gold and silver so this is just up my alley so beautiful quad if you like this color history I totally recommend it so this is it for this video I just would like to say as well that if you are interested if you are interested in receiving this Chantecaille de Gournay special edition highlighter that I'm offering to one of you that is subscribed to my channel and follows me on Instagram Take a look at my latest video on the Natasha Mini Gold palette. I'm only going to randomly select one of you uh, on next Sunday, the 5th of December. So until then, you are totally free to tell me uh, what is your Instagram handle below on the, that video that I've just mentioned. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel and following me on Instagram. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye!